Good afternoon, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the Command 66 Day Challenge 3.0 Day 20. So right now we're in our opportunity series of videos, and we're going to dive into that sub menu. Yesterday we kind of worked through getting our um, opportunity set up, and we talked about documents, the document tab, and we spoke about our folders, right? So this is a listing folder. It has three folders here. We have custom folders. We talked about the ability to add documents to these placeholders, add custom documents, and add comments as well. Uh, during yesterday's video, we linked this transaction to DocuSign. And so today I'm going to start walking you through the DocuSign process of uh, basically getting documents um, inputted, loaded, filled out, signed, sent off, and returned. So it's not all going to be today, but that's the process we're going to go through. So in order to uh, get back into DocuSign from this opportunity, I'm going to click on the Go To Transaction button. And that typically will ask me to log into DocuSign and put in my password. Um, I'm already in DocuSign on another window, so it automatically put me in. You can see because this opportunity was, or this information was already an opportunity when I linked it, it automatically created what's called a DocuSign room and it gave it an ID when it was created and it titled the room based upon the opportunity name. So the first thing in DocuSign that we need to do is to get into the details tab here on the left hand side. So we want to click on details. And when we get in here, we're going to kind of see two main spaces here. You've got the left hand side and the right hand side. The left hand side is all transactional based information. So this is going to be the name of the room, uh, the location of the property, listing details, offer details, any bidding details, closing and additional details. On the right hand side, if you'll see this column, this is essentially all of the parties to the transaction. So you can see seller one, seller two, listing agent, and then you've got buyer one, buyer two, buyer agent, if you keep scrolling down. If for any reason you had a second buyer agent, or I think there's even one for a second listing agent, you could fill in that information. In order to start doing so, you're going to click on the edit button here, this pencil. I'm going to click on edit, and you can see it all turns to boxes now. So I have the ability for this room. Let's change this room name actually to the real name of one of my listings. And let's just put in Logs Meadows Drive, KD, Texas, 77494. I do represent the list side. Um, I can go through here, right? The uh, currency is USD. It's under contract. I can even put in the MLS ID number. I can pull that off of my I, my MLS, of course, 8647. Um, origin of lead, that is going to be Sphere. Let's see if it's in here. Um, this is DocuSign's list. So um, I'm just going to put other because it doesn't look like uh, Sphere is actually listed unless I'm missing it. So I'll just put that. Um, the address again, 23106 Lodge Meadows. Drive and it's in Katy. The county is Fort Bend, isn't it? Pretty sure it's Fort Bend County. Oh, yes, it is. And we are in Texas. So basically, you're just going to go in and start filling in all of this information. And it's important that you put in this information first because the second step that we're going to go through is actually putting in the documents. And if we put in all of this information, then a lot of the um, the blanks will be filled in for us so we don't have to worry about going through and kind of doing a lot of double data entry. So um, let's see, list date, let's just put the first and list expiration and I don't know what these local original listing, I'm just going to leave those blank. Um, offer details, so let's just say we had an offer today. And I'm just going to put in these details. This isn't reality. And yet, let's just say this is what came through. Um, let's just say that's the contract date as well. Entity holding earnest money. Let's just put in the title company name and see if that auto populates when we get into the document. 
Um, I'm not going to fill in the rest of this information right now. We can put in the close date. Let's just say it was a cash deal. It's going to close at the end of the year. Um, I don't need any bid information, contract sent. I don't need to fill in really any of this. Um, seller concession, zero. Listing side commission is 3%. Buyer side is 3%. There are no referrals. And I don't need to fill in the rest. I'll just leave this blank for right now. Now let's come down here. So we'll fill in the seller's name, right? I'm not going to fill in the actual name of the sellers. Let's just say it's uh, Donald Duck. And we'll just put in a fake information here. So you guys can see you would just go through and fill in all this information. Once you had seller one, seller two filled in you're going to get into the room and the next step is to actually start adding in details. So I just want to have this in so we can see what it looks like when we actually pull those documents in and some of them will actually start auto populating with the information that we have in here. So and Okay, so then we've got uh, listing agent two. There is no listing agent two. Buyer, let's just say that's Mickey Mouse. And sorry guys, I appreciate you being patient as we work through, but like I said, I just wanna show you what it looks like when we get all this information in, kind of how it shows up on the other side. So I think that's right, right? Is that enough sevens? Hopefully that's enough sevens. All right, so. Once you've got all of that information filled out, you are going to be able to head back into the room. So we're going to save it in just a second. And... All right, so we're going to click on save. So now all of that information that we've just put in, the room has been updated with all of the details. Okay, so we went through filled in all those details. Now we can come back into documents. Okay, so now we need to start adding documents for this transaction. Um, so we can click on add here on the right hand side and you can see we have several options. So I can pull in documents from my computer if I have documents already there that have been either filled out or signed, etc. I can fill out DocuSign forms here or I can also use zip form if I prefer that method of pulling in my documents. So let's take a look at DocuSign forms. And when we go here, you're gonna see there's two options at this top. So we've got DocuSign forms library and DocuSign forms group. The groups are actually controlled at the market center level, typically by the MCA or someone in your client uh, compliance department. Um, so some MCAs and compliance coordinators have actually already created groups for each type of transaction. I'll show you what that looks like. So our market center already has groups created for all of these styles of transactions. When I click on any one of these groups, I'm going to get all the necessary documents needed. Um, you also, for each one of those transactions, of course, you also have the ability to click on DocuSign Forms Library, and then you can see our association. Um, I know not all market centers have all of their associations loaded. We are one of those. Um, we have our Texas Association of Realtor documents loaded. We are still waiting on our Houston Association of Realtor documents to be loaded as well. So um, if you don't have them all, obviously you could download them from your association website. Uh, you may be able to use zip forms if the association has a relationship with zip forms. So those are a couple of other solutions if your documents are not here in DocuSign. But let's just go ahead and click on Texas Association of Realtors. Let's pretend like this is a buy deal. So the first thing I need is a buyer representation. Um, so I'm just going to type in representation and here we have it residential buyer tenant representation agreement so I can click on add there um, I need to add the give it a second so DocuSign forms and let's do um, I'm actually going to check them this time so I don't have to go through that process every time so information about brokerage services I can click on that um, I need an offer, right? So that's the family one to four residential contract. Um, they are going to be financing this property. So we need a third party financing addendum. Um, 
let's say there is a property owners association. So I need to make sure that that addendum is in there. Let's say there is a municipal utility. That may be an HAR form. I think that's actually an HAR form. So I would have to bring that in from my hard drive or somewhere else. Uh, but let's say it's non-realty items addendum. They want the, the fridge, the washer, and the dryer. So each time I've looked at one of these documents, I can click on the checkbox and it will select it. So you see there's now five forms selected. When I click on add, it's going to bring in all of those documents. So you can now see in just a second, all of the documents in my room that I have brought in. So here they all are. My next step obviously is just to start filling them out. So if I click on information about brokerage services, the first document I wanna get filled out, I can click on that. DocuSign is gonna bring that document in. I'm gonna scroll down and you can see here is information that I need to put in for each one of these. So I could just start with licensed broker, broker firm, and that's Keller Williams Platinum Realty. There we go. And just start filling in all of the information here on these documents. Once you get done, you would click on Save and Close. And from there, you would go on to the next document. So you do have the ability to create custom templates. I have a video for that um, already out, and I'll probably re-record one just to make sure that it's as updated as possible. Um, but tomorrow, what I'm gonna do is start taking you into the ability to create envelopes, add signatures, and actually send these documents off. Okay, so right now, what we've done is we've gone into the details tab and we've filled it out it completely with all of our information. The next thing we're gonna do is pull in our documents. And you can see here on the one to four family, right, when I click on that actual document, because I have filled out information in details, you can see that a lot of that information did auto populate, right? So here's Donald Duck, Daffy Duck, Mickey and Minnie. It shows the city of Katy, what the property is known as. So some of that information did come over. It's already celebrity title, right? The earnest money is already put in. Um, you can see a lot of that information has already been auto populated for me because I filled out the details section. Um, also, when we go to form the envelopes and we want to start assigning signatures and initials, we have to have the people in the details in order to add their initials and signatures. So that's where we're at right now. Basically, when you first start your DocuSign room, step number one, get into details, fill in as much information as possible that you have available. Step two, get into your documents, add those documents, whether you're bringing them in from your computer hard drive, from DocuSign form or zip form, start adding them in. And then step number three is to actually fill out each one of these documents appropriately. So fill out the contract, the offer, the addendums, etc. cetera. Uh, tomorrow we'll talk about once we have them all filled out, how do we add initials and signatures? How do we create an envelope? How do we send off those envelopes? If we do have templates created, how do we add in the templates? You'll see right now, there's no ability for me to add a template in in this form. So teaser alert, you actually have to add the template when you're in the envelope. And we'll talk a little bit more about that tomorrow. So as always, guys, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I will look forward to talking to you then. Thanks so much.